What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to go and do another shrine in the sky. And uh, this one is pretty cool, but it's, it's really cool just how how you get it because it is quite out of the way. So the shrine location is going to be right here in the sky. Uh, it's like a round thing uh, west of the map, as you can see, the west of Central Hyrule anyway. So you need to come over to this tower. Uh, and uh, we're gonna get shot off to the sky and uh, we're gonna need to do a couple of things in order to reach that uh, orb up there as you can see it's like a, a big round rock um, uh, sphere we need to go in there because that's where the shrine is going to be it's going to be inside of that orb uh, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is try to get down here to this island because it's going to be the the closest one uh, that we've got and it's got a couple of uh, guardians and a couple of platforms in there as well you're on zero G uh, inside of the weather shrine is is all zero G in here you come in and out of it uh, sometimes you are on zero G other, other times you don't so um, uh, you need to drop down here and as you can see there's going to be two guardians one on the right in a platform and then another one on the left so you need to get rid of both of them and uh, try to uh, gather both uh, rockets because they, they've got rockets uh, in each of the platforms. So you need to get rid of uh, of the Guardians, grab the platforms, almost fell in here. Oh, wow, uh, <laughs> that's incredible. So yeah, so you need to get these uh, uh, rockets in here and uh, we're going to need to uh, to get it all to go all over to the other side and uh, get rid of the other guardian as well because he's, he's uh, guarding two uh, rockets as well so we need to get rid of him and um, that is pretty much it you just need to grab all four because we need to get height and uh, if we don't get uh, enough height we won't be able to glide over to where the shrine is located so we need to uh, grab these two rockets uh, I was trying to like fuse them together and it would be uh, much easier but oh you can just attach them to the side here or oh, these two we're gonna need to do it initially we don't want to do all four of them you have to be careful obviously because of zero, zero G not jumping too far uh, it is it is difficult because you're used to one thing and then suddenly in in the uh, no gravity is uh, really really uh, uh, tricky sometimes you jump more than what you meant to be jumping and you'll just fall off the edge because you've jumped too far right now let's go and pick up those two rockets i was checking if there was anything in the water there all you need to do is just glue them together so you can take them at, at the same time instead of having to come and do multiple trips you can just uh, glue them together and uh, put them on top but what you can't do is glue them to that box so you need to leave them loose in on top of the box so we can use them uh, when the other ones run out because if they glue to the box they will all activate and then obviously you you you'll just be you won't have enough uh, lift to get to to the top where we need to go where the shrine is uh, so we need to just get the first ones activated and uh, to do that we're going to need to just strike one of them with a uh, with a, a weapon or you can just uh, shoot an arrow at it. See there's not enough lift to get us over there because we're still below where that thing is. Uh, so we're going to need to put another two rockets and uh, on the side exactly in the same position than the, that the other ones were in and uh, we're going to need to um, uh, activate these ones as well so you can get enough lift and that should give you plenty of lift to get to where the um, where the shrine is going to be so when you're ready we I mean we're almost there but it's, it's still a long way and uh, it might you might not be able to make it but from about here even when the rockets disappear you still continuously get a little bit more lift yeah we way above it we should get there without any problems at all but I couldn't find any other way of getting there uh, there is no other island that will allow me to uh, to get there by gliding uh, so I don't know maybe maybe there's another way of doing it but I couldn't find it so we're gonna keep on going down to uh, and navigate towards that um, looks like a planet uh, like that rock sphere and uh, we're gonna go inside there's gonna be an opening on the side and we're gonna go inside and we need to put like a series of mirrors with levers and it's a, it looks more confusing than it actually is because I managed to do this first time and uh, normally I'm I struggle when it comes to mirrors and pointing uh, beams and things like that so it's uh, 
it's it's not that hard um, once you get the whole the the hang of it it will uh, it will be much easier the the only problem is you're in zero g and that complicates things when you're jumping from place to place you just have to be aware that you are that you 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 are in zero g and it's it's uh, uh, your jumps are a lot longer uh, so there's an opening on the side in here so we're going to need to go over that and uh, navigate down to where the mirrors are and like the center uh, column that points uh, three lights out Starview Island is what this one is called so we need to basically go down to the main thing and rotate it and until it hits the mirrors on the side uh, so there's two, two, three mirrors on on each on uh, either side, and they will reflect the light onto some other mirrors further up. So you know there's multiple platforms. There's also a chest in here, and you you do the same thing that you that you do to activate the shrine, but you have to rotate that platform once again and kind of like uh, rotate the beam so we can hit the the plate right next to where the shrine is locked in. So first thing we're going to need to do is turn it to the side. And uh, we're going to need to point that uh, light there to the first mirror. And as you can see, the, the beam is shot up to the sky. And there's quite a few things activated already. So uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is jump out with your glider. And we're going to go over to these fans in here that uh, kind of like propel you up. And as you can see, this one, there's nothing to do because the beam, the beam is not here. We will need to do it afterwards once, it, once uh, oh, the beam gets activated. But I mean, you can point it down to where it needs to be like I'm doing uh, here now and then we're going to need to keep on going around and uh, going to the towards that side now but you need to use the wind in order to glide off to this side in here as you can see this one is pointing into another direction so once the beam is here you can kind of move like this lever here to the the, the place where it needs to be so uh, you're going to need to kind of like move it down towards the other one the previous one that we were in and then like that we will be able to uh, to activate all of the lights i was just having a look to see exactly what would be the the best uh, the best place for me to point it into and it's going to be that one there that we just moved a minute ago that's going to be the one that we need to point it at and that will obviously reflect uh, towards the other one right down the bottom so we just need to keep on uh, keep on doing keep on rotating them uh, and uh, that's how that's how we're going to it, it's a kind of like a trial and error you won't be able to you probably won't do it like first time uh, we just have to kind of like see what you know where the light can be pointing at obviously there's going to be um, uh, lights there that you just physically can't uh, point them to a um, to another mirror so obviously those ones are not going to be right until eventually you get to um, a beam that you can point out to that um, that uh, archway that we were in just a minute ago and uh, once we point it out to that archway there's going to be like a, a a plate on the on above the archway that you can activate that yellow one on the left hand side there that's where we ultimately we're going to need to to do it to activate it and then once everything is is lit up and you pointed it to this main area here that we started with we can just point this main one uh, all the way to that plate right there and that's how you activate the shrine in order to do the other one in order to do the the chest uh, the previous mirror before we 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 go into the center again. The previous mirror will point out onto that plate where the shrine, is, where the um, chest is, and uh, you'll be able to unlock it and get what's inside of it. It's a it's a really it can be a little bit tricky to try to get these mirrors all to line up, but uh, it's not uh, it's not impossible. It's not like something that you can that you're going to uh, to have loads of trouble with. If you see that it's not pointing to the right direction, it's because it's it, it's not right. You just need to kind of like adjust the go mirror by mirror until you can uh, you can adjust it up on to a point where. Uh, where it's going to line up and if everything lines up then uh, that's it that's uh, that's uh, how you do it my SCR shrine is what we're doing now and this one is a Raru's blessing so there's nothing to do you just have to go inside pick up what's inside of the chest and 
and that is pretty much it and collect your light of blessing and that that is another one done as you can see i've got two more to do and i think those are the last two that i can do right now because i need to carry on with the mind storyline in order to uh remove uh, in order to unlock the last uh, shrine in the sky which is going to be covered with like a cloud so you won't be able to to go inside and see uh, and, and and see where the shrine is because it's quite a big island uh, so we need to carry on with the um, with uh, the the main storyline and obviously that's what I'm going to do once I finish these two shrines here uh, I will uh, I will continue the main storyline and uh, we can unlock a few more things because I've got plenty of hearts now it's uh, it's uh, I'm almost full up so um, I won't need any more um, any more shrines and I think I've got I've got a couple missing down the down the, the the bottom but not many not many at all i think i've done 170 odd videos uh of tears of the kingdom so i'm almost there so i guess that's it for this one guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like consider subscribing so i can continue releasing more content like this i'll be back again with some more tears of the kingdom very very soon so thanks again for watching see you in the next one goodbye